Are you looking for basic demographic information about Canadians and where they live in Canada? Well, I'll tell you one of the best kept secrets of the free web. It's the census website from Statistics Canada. Now, Statistics Canada has put all of the information it provides on the free web. So now all you need to do is take your favorite browser to the Statistics Canada website and find the information you need. This video will cover the census. Now I know the address by heart, it's statcan.gc.ca. You can also just Google it and, um, and uh, you know, now, Statistics Canada has tons of information, literally, from all over the place in this website. What I want to do is go here under Features and use these top three hits. This video will just cover the Census of Canada. Now, the Census is something that needs to happen according to the Canadian Constitution. It happens every five years, and essentially, the government counts people. That's what a census is. The last one happened in 2011. You can also find previous census on this website, but I'm going to cover only the 2011 census. Now, one thing I use is, are the data products. Okay, click here, and I want to show you my favorite tool is the census profile. Of course, there's tons of other tools on this page, but I want to at least show you this basic tool from the census. Now, there are many ways you could search. You could start with a place name, like the name of your city, Montreal, or whatever. You, or you could do a postal code so search. This is my favorite kind of search. Let me do a postal code search for uh, JMSB. H3G1M8. Okay, that's actually the postal code for Concordia. And let me hit search. Now, this gives you the list of places in Canada that fit with this postal code. And I want you to understand how general and how granular the information gets from the census website. So let me start with the most granular level that StatsCan provides. And remember, this is for free. So after you graduate, and if you're in business right now, you could totally use the census to provide for business intelligence or demographic information about regions where you operate. Okay, so the most granular level that you can get is called a census track and see how precise. Well, it's actually just a number. So the census track is the most precise level that you can get. Let me click on the map to show you. The census track in this case goes between Peel Street and Guy Street and Sherbrooke and De Maisonneuve. This is how precise the information is. This is going to tell you how many people live here and what are some of their ba basic demographics. This is really, really interesting. So let me hit back and click here on this uh, number to get the detail. So in this area, okay, we see that we have about 2,000 people who live there, right? And that's a 67% increase from 2006. So the last survey, the last census, I should say. Uh, and then you have here the total private dwellings and private dwellings occupied by usual residents. It's not exactly the number of households, but it's pretty close. So that's probably what I would use as an estimate of households in the area. So this is detailing the information at a very, very precise level called the census track. Okay, and every report is going to look like this. Population, age distribution by gender, and then marital status by gender, family characteristics by gender, or actually family characteristics total, household and dwelling char characteristics, and then a lot of information about various forms of languages spoken. That's what the census does. Now, if I hit back to go back to my result list, that was the census track. Then another level that you have is the federal electoral district, okay? And if you look at the map, this one is a lot bigger all right, then the specific 
census tract. Then you have the economic region of Montreal, and again, click on the map. And in this case, it's the whole island, okay? The, not even wondering about cities and all that stuff, just the whole straight island, okay? You hit back. Uh, then you have the census subdivision, and sometimes it could be the same as another area, okay? In this case, it's the same as the, uh, as the um, economic region. Now, the census metropolitan area is the greater Montreal area. It's the North Shore, Laval, the South Shore, and then the island of Montreal. Now, I don't, yeah, it hasn't been working. This file hasn't been working for the Montreal CMA, but you get the idea. North Shore, South Shore, Laval, and the island itself. And then, of course, you have the city of Montreal. And if you look at the map, you could see that it's the island, excluding the demerged cities that uh, Charest uh, took out of, this, of the island of Montreal. And so this is how the city of Montreal looks like. That's your city, right, if you live there. Um, and again, you would get a different, a different statistic, right, from the city itself versus... So that's where you have 1.6 million people. So you have to be careful, which is different than the census division, which is the whole island. So you have about 150,000 people uh, who live um, uh, outside of the island. I mean, within the island, but outside of the city of Montreal. 200,000, 240,000 people. Anyways, so this is just giving you, and then of course you have the province of Quebec, the whole province. So you could see how granular it goes, the census track, all the way to the province of Quebec. So if you have the postal code for someone or your own postal code, you may want to check out what it looks like, what your neighbors look like, uh, and get a sense of uh, the composition of your neighborhood. But it's also really important for city planners, uh, marketing executives, but also small business owners, because you can really get a good sense of the uh, of the size of the composition of your neighborhood.